Hey guys, this is the uh, second to last uh, little video I'm going to be posting before the actual alpha relief uh, release. <laughs> Sorry about that, a little tired. Um, and then you guys will have an offline version to play. Um, I will be adding in a username and password and an account uh, patron code, which will allow you to have access to uh, certain bonuses and privileges before the server's up. And uh, this way it'll give incentive for people to be paying. Um, but at the moment, uh, I have just like three little glitches I gotta fix. Um, one of them is if uh, these items are already filled and the sh um, shopkeeper's window is closed, uh, he will add items that can't be that can't be sold in here. They won't add any values because the items did not originate from an inventory. Um, and then I gotta add in the actual variables to change in the tooltip for the text. And then I'm going to oh yeah, I'm gonna make it to where if you punch rocks and trees, uh, they have a chance to drop. Uh, stones and sticks. Uh, obviously, when you attach um, a axe or a pickaxe, um, the chances go higher uh, for the item. And then I do want to make um, all of the. Oh shit! <laughs> I do want to make all the items that you equip to be draggable, because I haven't done that yet. I haven't added the drag function, um, and it's pretty easy. All I got to do is just make sure that the enumerator index of the weapon matches the enumerator index for the particular slot and then if it does it can be switched or moved so it's not too hard to do and then I have it to where uh, you know obviously you can switch your uh, you can auto click the weapon and switch it uh, oops <laughs> uh, that's actually something I was working on too and uh, so yeah just like two or three little minor glitches which will only take me uh, a couple couple hours to fix completely, and then everything will be honky doy ready to go. Um, and then I will release the single player, and then I'll be working on the crafting system for the next uh, couple days. Um, so you can start making um, the stick sword and the plank sword, and then yeah, it'll pretty much just be character, enemy, and level design from here on out. It'll be really great. And and then, of course, sounds. Obviously, I'm going to add sounds and music. But that's just not a huge priority because I'm not, like, a great musician. And, uh, you know, since I don't have any uh, crowdfunding on this particular game yet, um, you know, I can't really afford to hire an artist if I can't do the music myself. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, really like this little preview and you look forward to playing. Um, you will be getting care packages and special privileges um, when you... Uh, play before and then the online release and then if you're patroning or supporting uh, while the server's up then you get to keep um, some of the progress that your character has you'll have uh, tier levels and if you reach a certain tier level then your character's uh, levels and stats can max to a certain point after release so obviously the more that you support the project and the more uh, in-game currency you buy well obviously the more you get to keep during the final release. Just a little bit of incentive, you know, make sure that I can uh, be paying the bills while I'm spending all, every waking moment building an MMORPG. So, hope you guys like the little preview, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.